I was a data science student two years ago. I did my master's in data science and software engineering, and I was judging data analytics hackathon at Georgia Tech two weeks ago. And here's a realistic roadmap for you to start with data science and data analytics in 2023. So start karte hai, first of all, the report by Insider. Since the evolution of ChatGPT, har koi yehi baat kar hai that AI is going to replace your job. But according to the report by Insider, it says that software engineering and tech jobs are also at a risk of losing their job and getting replaced by AI. But the reality is, if you read it properly, it says that according to Columbia Business School professor, AI will help coders rather than replacing them. And same is the case with artificial intelligence. I'll tell you an example. Last time we were doing a big project with 1 million lines of code, which you cannot, you know, just paste on chat GPT. So in that project, a senior software engineer can literally tell in five minutes where the problem is. But if you give the same problem to chat GPT, it will tell you that problem could be in these three areas, option A, option B, and option C. Now you tell me which is faster. Rather than having the audacity and confirmation that the bug is in this area versus getting a response from chat GPT that the bug is in these three areas. So this is what experience gives you and this is what AI gives you. Now, if you pursue your dream of software engineering or data science, especially for this video, and you become expert in your project, expert in your area, you can solve problems much faster and at that time, AI will not be able to replace you either. And at the time, you can take help of AI getting those three areas where the bug is. But in reality, only you have the power of making the final decision. So that's why AI cannot replace data science jobs, but it is creating more data science opportunities at the moment. So right now, every company is planning to add AI to their platform. So for example, if you look at all of these hot AI companies like OpenAI, which could be an exception, if you look at FrameAI, MoveWorks, all of these new AI companies are exponentially growing. And the good part is, in many of the cases, you can use API of it. You can use ready-made product, you can use their product, and a new company can use it by paying the company, even though they haven't kept it open source. But the new companies which are planning to integrate AI, they can actually pay the existing company like OpenAI, H2OI, AI, or Data Robot and actually use the same AI technology in their company. And that's why new companies and even old companies need AI engineers to integrate it. Now, this means that now why data scientists are needed? Because in the world, if you don't have deep understanding about data science, you will not be able to figure out which AI platform to use. For example, a quick, quick example could be Google is coming up with BARD, which is based on Lambda, and OpenAI with Microsoft came up with ChatGPT, which is based on GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 now. So both are different, different algorithms. And similarly, in different areas of data science, there are different algorithms which you have to take a decision on. Kuch, kuch algorithms could be more relevant to your challenge of your project and which challenges could be less relevant. Now, a good data science can immediately figure out ki haan, is project ke liye, for this project, this algorithm is better or that algorithm is better. So that's why all of these companies need data science to figure out which areas they can conquer by adding AI tools into it and which areas do not need AI and jahan pe AI chal bhi nahi sakta. For example, if there's an area jahan pe AI can never give you a right answer, they will not invest in it. So that's why data science help. And here is a realistic roadmap and how much money you can make. But first of all, a quick disclaimer, because in this video, there'll be no paid course promotion. Now I'm going to tell you that go to my website to check out Python course, or go to my website to, you know, enroll in Python hackathon. Now I'm going to give you a description mein ek link dunga, which will be a roadmap, which will take to my course. No direct or indirect path to my course. It is just my information and the realistic way you can become data scientist with zero rupees and zero dollars. So let's start with my personal journey so that you can get a little bit idea of how I learned. So I did my master's at Georgia State University in data science. I did three years of computer science undergrad and one year of master's. Since the first semester of my master's degree, when I was in my first machine learning class, I figured out that it is very core statistics and it lost my interest immediately from 
data science and I was like, I I started to hate it because I was good at math, but statistics was not my cup of tea. So Muje Mazaini Aratha. Every day I was attending classes, I was yawning and I was like, I I didn't sign up for it. But still I continued, I pursued, I went for higher level classes like data mining, then deep learning, then big data, then neural networks, which were very complicated for me, but I still learned it because of the hype it has right now and it is going to have for the next few years as well. So that's why my number one step to start with data science would be to already get yourself into the world of data science jo aap kar sakte ho by attending hackathons and one such example would be go to online and search for all the free hackathons you have in the world of data science because when you find the people with the right men's mindset aap unke jaise ban jate ho so for example on this website called towards data science i have already explored 20 data science discord servers jo ki aap free mein join kar sakte ho and on these Discord servers, you can get to talk to people who are already in the world. Wo kaise kaise baat karte hai, what are the problems they're solving? You can read and get into the world so that if you start kar rahe ho, later down two, three years later, you do not regret that why I signed up for this. Now, step number two, learn a programming language. And at this time, I will recommend Python. And you just need basic concepts in terms of data structures like list stack queue little bit just high level and you need to know the understanding of data how you read data in programming how it is parsed how is comma separated file excel file ko aap text mein kaise read karte ho and vice versa how a data can be converted into graph you need to be ready into looking at data not just in one dimension but in three dimension four dimension watch some videos youtube videos especially how a data is the is visualized in three dimensions Aapne mein, you know you have drawn x axis y axis now you have to visualize how it is in three dimensions with depth four dimensions multi dimensions five dimensions you just have to visualize so for this i will recommend you watching some youtube videos on imagining 10 dimensions 100 dimensions three dimensions so that you can actually visualize how data scientists think because when you use a matrix like let's say it's a two by two matrix three by three matrix as the matrix get bigger the dimensions increase as well a good example could be the matrix movie which is a uh, not direct example but it's with thoda thoda bataya gaya now number three before you learn machine learning data science or any of these core concepts in deep you should actually start with problems as compared to concepts ye kafi log galti karte hai reality hai all the people who are actually making courses on you know data scientists or you know machine learning deep learning they also started with problems then they learned as compared to learning the concepts and then coming to problems is kind of example badata hu for example let's say you are you know learning a new language let's say it could be spanish so maine jab apne college mein spanish sikhni shuru ki thi na to my professors told me even kd told me that get into the zone of the language, let's say if you podcast to movies watch karne lag jao in Spanish, even though you do not understand, but you get into the zone ki how it works, right? Up Spanish sun sun ke sun sun ke, you get to the get to the understanding. Oh, so this is how Spanish sounds like. Similarly, is the world of data science. Just explore how the projects look like. Even though you cannot make a single project or even though you cannot solve a single problem, but when you look at the problem, when you look at the solution, how it is made, up zada chize seek patio. And then you know when you're looking at the solution of one project, oh this is how it made, up us project could you know when you go deeper into the problem and see how it is solved, you can solve similar projects as well. So for example you can start with any of these beginner data science projects and then find which algorithm is needed for each of the problem and usse aap zyada sikhoge as compared to learning the algorithm first jab aap ek bade bade project ko dekhte ho when you make new projects and learn using ki yaar is project mein agar mujhe study karna hai flood data of bihar and assam aap deep jate ho into the data of floods and then you know you study the data and then you visualize it then you make graphs when you start with the project to problem to solution you learn more as compared to learning the concept of the solution. I will tell you an example that in the world of data science, in the world of software engineering, no one can learn all thousand concepts at once. But people can learn one problem 
एंड मास्टर इट क्योंकि कॉन्सेप्ट की कोई कमी नहीं है देर आर थाउजेंड वेज टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम अगर आप वो थाउजेंड वेज ही सीखते जाओगे यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू मास्टर मल्टीपल ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सो आपको एक प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करनी नहीं आनी चाहिए आपको आनी चाहिए टू सॉल्व हंड्रेड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम एंड देर कुड बी मल्टीपल सोल्यूशन सो फॉर दैट यू नीड टू सी मोर प्रॉब्लम एज कम्पेयर टू सींग मोर सोल्यूशन तो दैट्स वाई स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट आप चार्ट जी पी टी में जाओ टेल मी द हॉटेस्ट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट्स टू स्टार्ट विद लुक एट द प्रोजेक्ट go into how you can solve it make a step by step timeline using chat gpt or any of online uh, or any of these discord servers or with the friends you are teaming up with break it down and see ki yaar har ek problem ka in that project every every step can be solved through multiple options discover ki is 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 project ko solve karne ke kaun se option hai there are multiple algorithms in data science or machine learning like supervised learning unsupervised learning ya fir or reinforced learning so when you actually लाइक ट्राई फ्रॉम द प्रॉब्लम आप ज्यादा चीज सीख सकते हो लास्ट इन द फाइनल स्टेप विल बी इन योर डिस्कॉर्ड ग्रुप जो भी आप इनमें से डिस्कॉर्ड ग्रुप ज्वाइन करते हो ऑफ डेटा साइन देर आर ट्वेंटी ऑप्शन एज ए मैंशन नाउ इन दीज ऑप्शन वेन यू ज्वाइन इट ask some students that you know let's try to do a mock interview so this is a free website called paircoding.online which you can actually copy the link and share with any of your friend ask him let's do some data science mock interview and in that mock interview you don't really need to have a coding problem you can just solve you know problems that are asked in google or top companies interview so you can just check top asked data science questions for any xyz company it could be you know let's say tesla so search for a company and find all the questions and then ask each other pehle aapne ek team mein dhoond liya discord pe jaake and ask each other solve those solve uh, you know data science problem solve a statistics problem when you actually take mock interview of someone and actually be an interview and interviewee at the same time you know you learn more for each other's mistakes and you get to know ki yaar dono kahan pe stand karte hain aap kabhi demotivate nahi hote you get to know that both are almost at the same level and you both have problems and you you both have your own shortcomings and you have to fix it so you learn more when you are actually mock interviewing and i personally think that my friend groups my network has taught me more as compared to any of the book i've read as compared to any of the online course so that's why i just want to transparently tell you yeah in the end i will just i will also say that i also have you know uh, online course on python but i'm not asking you to take in this video because at the end of the day you learn more through networking so that will be it for the video i hope this video helps you out and thank you so much for watching